Hello everyone and once again welcome back to the AWE expansion of Control. Now we have been chasing Hartman up and down, left and right, all over the investigation sector, but now there's only one place he can be and it's right ahead of me. The Bright Falls AWE area, where I think there's meant to be Cauldron Lake Lodge, maybe a few other things. Before we go through that door though, let's have a listen to this. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Hartman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I've provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I would consider myself a keen observer. Of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you, in fact, encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 <laughs> of the Federal Bureau of Control oh and Criminal Offense System. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, <laughs> including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. Oh, they I'm can. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. <laughs> that lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Wow. So he was actually just trying to work with the Bureau, but uh, they weren't having it. No, he uh, he breached all of those rules that he probably didn't know about, honestly. Right. Three tugs, yeah? One, two, and three. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Poor Alan. Poor, poor Alan. Made me jump a bit. <laughs> okay. Well, I like that attitude. He's trying to get out, yeah. Alright. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. I agree. Let's be that help, shall we? Alright. What's this? We got access to the rooms, just one of them. Oh, oh, Are they the keys down there? I don't suppose I can reach that, can I? Have we? Oh, hang on. Can I? Oh! I was just about to look around for something that might give us some light, but there you go. Okay, no more darkness. No keys either. Right, next up, 224. Or maybe not. I can actually hear what sounds like the darkness through there. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hit the bell again. Closing that door, but opening another. 224, that's right. Oh, all on the bed. But hang on, might be the... Yeah, is that a lamp? Yes! Oh. Impossibly dark to impossibly bright. Just like that. Okay, one more time. Yep. I think that was 226 opening. What's it going to be this time? Oh, more darling, please. Oh, oh, on the wall. Right, let's see. Are we going to get a music video? Oh, we're just going to spin it around. One more time. 
<laughs> and then maybe we'll get a music video. Hmm. Or maybe it's just going to be that. No dynamite for me. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that. Uh, right. Um, okay. Well, I didn't see any keys in there. Hit the button. Oh, hold on. Here we are. Here they are. Got him. Okay. So, let's go help him. Wake had to escape right his escape. Right his escape. Wake needed a hero. Like me. A hero needed a crisis. Like the one I'm in. <laughs> story about the government agency. Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something special. Oh, okay. It sounds like a very interesting story, honestly. <laughs> Here we are. And it looks like the obstruction has been removed, so another three pulls, and we should be going back. Alright, get the power on. Hasn't that been the objective the entire way through? It's felt like it. But here we are. This is it, the Bright Falls, or the Dark Falls AWE, that's what it seems replica, like. Like the one they made for ordinary. Right. Okay. I wonder what happened here. I don't know. Uh, let's get the lights on and find out. What have we got down here? Is there something on the floor? Are we? Oh, we're, re <laughs> we're reading in the dark. Okay. It's the Alice Wake interview, though. This could be interesting. So, yeah, she came in for an interview in 2017. Uh, she had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her apartment. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, coming at her with violent intent. Not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. Right. Hmm. The Hawaii's light bulb breaking every night. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, seriously? Can we get the power on? <laughs> okay, there's something over here. What's this? I think it's a button. And I hear something. I, I don't know what that is. Let me just go back here. Let me get some powers back. Let me uh, fill that bar up. If that's like the one before, then maybe I'll be calling for backup. Let's see. This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. Right. Yeah. Make way for the director. Wait. That was quick. That's so efficient. Right. I can see him down there, and this presumably is the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Maybe the original Cauldron Lake Lodge. Ah, okay. Oh, there's, there's some light down there. Right, we'll be going down there and uh, we'll be seeing what we can do, Mr. Deployed Ranger. Let's go. Ooh. Right, okay, in the light, in the light. What are we doing here? Right, where are we going? Ha how did you get down here? Was that a good jump? <laughs> right, there's something over there. Let's see if I can throw it over there. Right. Got to get out of darkness as soon as possible. Okay. What have we got here? The Bright Fall Summary. Go on. This is from 1976, though. Alright. Deer Fest. Okay, yeah. Anderson Farm, a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. Yeah. It was as if the day had turned to night. Frank Breaker, formerly a Bureau agent. Hmm. Cool. Okay. He's just running around in the darkness, but uh, I guess Hartman doesn't really care about him. Right, if I can just put that one over there. Here we go. Alright. How are we doing? There's another one over there. But I... Oh, there... Okay, there it is. There's the, uh, there's the power core. There you are. There you go. Any more? Looks like there probably should be another one. Hang on. Hey, hey, look at this! Lights. Yes! Nowhere to hide, man. Okay, this is it. This is the actual fight. Oh, 
Whoa, oh, okay, that's that attack that I really hate. Whoa. It is really creepy. This does actually feel more like a... Whoa! Than a horror than anything else. Holy shit, that attack! Right, okay, there's some health over here at the very least, but not much. Where's he gone? Okay, he's uh, he's kind of tough. Ooh, okay. Oh god, I don't like the sound of that, or the look of that, or the anything of that. Oh shit. Ah, jeez, okay. So is this just... Okay, yeah, this is just some recreation. A little bit like Ordinary, just like she said. It's not the real deal. What the fuck? Oh my god. I just missed one hell of an attack by the looks of it. No! Deployed Ranger! No! No! no. Okay, this guy has to die. Oh, gee, that's the attack. That's the attack that really hurts, I think. It's alright, he's done for. Is he done for? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, hang on. That goes there. No, wrong one. That goes there. Perfect. Right. Oh, there's some people. He's got people. He's got friends. It's alright. Now I've got a friend. Okay, let me... Let me oh, Jesus Christ, that attack. That really, really hurts. Got some of that there health? Okay, there's a load over there. Oh, hang on, that's broken. Oh, right. Oh, God, he's spawning more people in as well. It's imperative that we actually get the lights back on. Holy crap. Got it, got it, okay. Jeez. So he's actually healing while he's in the darkness. Christ. Jeez. Okay, this is this is actually kind of tough. I thought it was going to be easy, just, you know, the one health bar and everything. No, as it turns out. Okay, I'm going to take you. Just... I suppose I've got to be up here, haven't I, really? I've got to get my health back. Or I've, I've got to get the bar back. Come on, I've got to take him. I've got to have some help. There you go. Okay, he's back up to, like, full health, kind of. Jeez. It's like a reset. It's like a... This is cruel. I wish I had my ranger friend. Jeez. I don't like it when he starts glowing red. That's real bad. Oh, gee. Absolutely. Oh, he's done it again. Okay, it's the other ones this time. Gotta go get some health. Oh no! I, I don't have the power to pick something up anymore. I've got to get to some light. So, oh my god, I'm I'm dead. I'm fucked. I'm dead. You actually got me. Wow. Okay. Honestly, wasn't expecting that. No, that I was taking that far too easy, and uh, it's not easy, especially when he's 
sending in more enemies. He's recharging his health in the darkness. <sighs> okay. I think I had the right idea. Getting extra help so they can keep doing damage to him while I'm sorting out the lights, potentially. Or they're just keeping him occupied, so I'm not always the one being attacked. But okay, let's, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Are we just jumping straight in? What's... Well, the lights are on still. Can I go get some help again? Oh, and it, <laughs> it seems it actually was an elevator, yes. This is the director. Right. I need a ranger at this location immediately. Let's do this! There he is. Before I've even finished the sentence, there he is. Okay. Alright, motherfucker. Okay, so yeah, I've got to... I've got to use my bar, my powers, quite wisely. So he does that twice, it seems. And, oh god, that... I didn't really see that one coming. Wah! He takes a swipe at me, I'm sure that fucking hurts. Yeah. Find something big to throw. Okay, so when he does that, he actually just explodes health, which is quite nice. Because I need it. Oh, dash over. Oh, that was just in the nick of time. Whoa! Oh, shit! Dude! Oh my god, let go! Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's what happens. He, he tries to grab you. Whoa! Well, there you go, there's some more health down there. This is a tough fight. There you go. I'm, I'm trying not to use my powers all that much. Because I'm going to need it when I need to start flying around and placing things back in their slots. So I'm, I'm, I'm really just focusing on getting some headshots and... Yeah. Okay, so... Whoa, don't you dare stomp on me. Okay, so his, his first form... Right. Looks like he broke that one over there. Let's real quick put that one there. And that one there. Okay, so the lights are on, so I'm getting the bar back. I think the range is still alive as well, so that's good. I managed to avoid that, thankfully. Shit, I had to dodge out of the way. There you go. Oh, he's dead! That one. And then the one over here as well, by the looks of it. Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm fucking stuck! Oh, everything's going wrong! Oh, Jesus Christ! I did it wrong again! Okay, this is not my day, apparently. I apologize. This one as well. Okay. Kind of a reset. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Okay, hang on. Did that get him? Jesus Christ! 
That's a hard fight! Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here. An AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. Oh, really? But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. In the future? And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Huh. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. Did Alan write his escape? Feels like I've been hyped, honestly. All right, well, there you go. Mission complete. And presumably that is the end of the main mission of the AWE expansion of Control. So that's probably all we're going to get as far as Alan Wake goes, which is really what I was focusing on. So I think this is actually where I'm going to end the video as well. And I suppose give a brief review on what I thought of the expansion, even though it wouldn't be a really fair one because I haven't really focused on the side missions or anything like that. I've just focused on the Alan Wake stuff. Still, just based on the main story, I thought this was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was nice to uh, step back into Jesse's shoes and become the director again. Fly around, throw fire extinguishers at people and stuff like that. It was really nice to interact with things like the train. It was lovely talking to Fra. It was lovely seeing Alan again. Although, I am a little bit underwhelmed, but I was hoping there was going to be a little bit more. However, we are left with a tease. A tease for what seems to be a sequel, maybe in a couple of years' time. Maybe a proper Alan Wake 2 as he makes his escape. And maybe in this Alan Wake 2, Jesse is going to be a side character. Maybe she's going to be in his game. I don't really know. But uh, it is very interesting. It is actually very exciting. I would love to play another Alan Wake game. And uh, yeah, it's looking positive. It's looking like he's getting out of here. So yeah. Um, Dealing with Hartman was quite a lot of fun. I actually died on the boss fight. I'm quite ashamed of myself. And then I almost died a second time, actually. But, yeah. Uh, I really liked dealing with Hartman. He was uh, it was a nice little twist. Uh, it actually did feel more like a horror game, this expansion. Which, of course, I appreciate. Um, yeah, he's, he's a cool enemy. And a difficult enemy. I think probably the toughest challenge in the game, in general. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Overall, I enjoyed my experience with this, and I hope you did as well. If you did, leave these videos likes, and uh, I hope to see you back in another playthrough very soon. See you then. You have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 <laughs> of the Federal Bureau. Dive deep. Not gonna lie, made me jump a bit. <laughs> Are we gonna get a music video? Ah, oh, we're just gonna spin it around. Where are we going? How how did you get down here? Was that a good jump? Whoa. This does actually feel more like a... Whoa! No! No! no. Okay, this guy has to die. Okay, let me... Let me... Oh, Jesus Christ, that attack. Oh, no. I, I don't have the power to pick something up anymore. I'm dead. You actually got me! There he is. Before I've even finished the sentence, there he is. Oh. Dash over. Oh, that was just in the nick of time. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I did it wrong again. You have been warned. Have I? It feels like I've been hyped, honestly.